His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa was at the airport to receive the Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II Ibn al Hussein and his accompanying delegation, who arrived in Bahrain this evening to attend the Formula One Grand Prix race scheduled to begin at the Bahrain International Circuit tomorrow. His Highness the Prime Minister Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has affirmed that hosting the Formula One race attracted the world's attention toward the kingdom and provided an opportunity to demonstrate Bahrain's potentials, capabilities, culture and the development it has undergone in various domains. This was said by His Highness while receiving a group of citizens this morning at his court, led by the Chairman of the Shura Council, Dr. Faisal Al Musawi, the Chairman of the Representative Council, Mr. Khalifa Al Dakhrani. The head of the Constitutional Court, Mr. Ibrahim Humaydan, ministers, members of the Shura and Representative Councils, under secretaries, officials, businessmen, university professors, heads of societies, media men, and scores of citizens. His Highness hailed the preparations that were made to ensure the success of this key international event, affirming this global championship has reflected the promising potentials that the country possesses in various sports, economic, investment and tourism sectors, and has shed light on the Kingdom's progress and advances. His Highness underlined the good reputation of the Kingdom as well as its stable and safe environment, which will greatly contribute to enhancing the success of this event, hailing the national calibre and their capabilities to foster the process of progress at honourable standards. His Highness depicted the event as a global demonstration not only for attracting tourists from various parts of the world, but also for attracting potential investors and capitals due to the Kingdom's excellent infrastructure, telecommunications network, human resources expertise and unique facilities. His Highness expressed his satisfaction with the democratic activities being practiced under the umbrella of Parliament, affirming that through cooperation such democracy will be further bolstered, stressing that there will be no room for intruders who would spread disunity or harm the national unity. His Highness said that adherence to the law and controls will bring success to democracy, calling for prudence against any attempt that would bring disunity in such a way that would foster cohesion and the spirit of one family, armed with awareness and knowledge. 
His Highness heard the achievements made thanks to the national project launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, calling for the need to benefit from the kingdom's rich experiences, its glorious past, shining present and promising future. Later, His Highness spoke of the latest regional and international developments, hailing the blessed efforts by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in coordination with Arab leaders to hold the Arab Summit and push forward the joint Arab action. His Highness lauded the sagacity of Arab leaders and the consciousness of Arab peoples towards the fact that the enemies will never succeed with their intrigues to disrupt the Arab nation, assuring that these attempts are doomed to failure. His Highness the Crown Prince and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalil Al Khalifa, held a dinner banquet on Saturday evening at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. In Ardi Bahrain, guests from the GCC, Arab, and other countries currently attending the activities of the Bahrain Formula One Grand Prix. The banquet was attended by ministers, senior officials, key economic and commercial figures, and other guests. During the banquet, His Highness exchanged cordial talks with attendees about this significant and unprecedented event in the Middle East hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. The guests, for their part, praise the facilities provided by Bahrain, wishing it further development and prosperity. The Minister of Labour and Social Affairs, Dr Majid al Alawi, met this morning with the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Prince Salman for Research and Disability of South Air Formula One Grand Prix, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time in the Middle East region. Phase one of Formula One qualifying rounds began at 8.30 in the morning, qualifying for the official race, which will be held on Sunday. The rounds were held in two periods. Today's qualifying rounds were attended by a large number of spectators, exceeding the number of viewers of the first day. Thank <laughs> you. 
Palestinian broke into Israeli settlement of